Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. It's getting closer and closer. We're about a month away till Christmas. Can you believe that? A month and three days. Isn't yeah. that nuts? It's, it's just crazy. Hard I, to believe. Time flies. I mean, it's the end of 2015. What a Shh. great <laughs> year. Crazy. It's been all right. Anyway, so today we have some awesome stuff for you. Final Fantasy VII news, some Candy Crush, No Man's Sky, FromSoft, Arkham Knight, Battleborn, and Game of the Year predictions. Uh, today, as always, my name is Will. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this this is mine. Yo. This is Dr. Joe G. Hey. All right, so guys, let's get into this. Uh, let's talk about Final Fantasy. I'm going to try this. You, you sure? N Nibuya. <laughs> Imitsu, better than me, <laughs> is not working on the Final Fantasy VII remake. Yeah, the guy that did the original music for the game, Nobuo Ametsu. Say it again. Nobuo Ametsu. That's not what he said earlier. That's not what she no, said. I no. exaggerated it off screen for <laughs> purposes unknown. But no, he is not working on this, which is kind of Are we of concerned? A shock. Are we concerned? A little bit. They're changing. Can they not use the same music though? I mean, they own the music. It's the same company. They, what's, yeah. the, what's the trademark infringement here? I don't. They own the music. Yeah. Like he's. So he sold it yeah. as the composer, and right. on all the albums, he's listed as a composer. But on every CD, you see the Square Soft or Square Enix logo mm -hmm. because they own the rights. Yeah, it's but how much contract. are they? How much are they changing the game from the original? We talked. They're about changing this. it. Apparently, from the ground up, it's like a rebuild. This isn't like take it, port it, and make it pretty. This is. Yeah. Start from scratch and rebuild the game. They're so it might be an issue because of that. Because of that reason, the music would have to fit the game, right? I think they're worried that the combat music wouldn't fit the play style because mm -hmm. old our old turn-based games, you you have your world map music, sure. then you log into your battle screen and yeah. it's a totally different right. music. It's like upbeat, More like upbeat, hey, yep, yeah, exciting. you know, you got that march. Yep. Let's get going. And then your boss battle music is totally different too. So I think they're trying to fit a flow where you can go from one composition to the next without any kind of interruption. So, so is this going to feel like Final Fantasy VII still? God, it, I hope so. Yeah, I do too. I mean, why would you change it? There's a reason they're remaking so, so, it. So, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, <laughs> this this remake, this particular remake, it's, has been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. I think they did it to themselves though, because when the PS3 when the PS3 was announced and first coming out, they were kind of they put a techno album out of Final Fantasy VII, saying, "Hey, look what we can do with the PS3," and right. it looked all, at the time everybody it was amazing. It was, everybody thought it was happening. This yeah. is like, like this is going to be great. I can't wait to play it. And then that was how long. When did the PS3 come out? 2006. So that was a little while ago. I <laughs> it mean, came out the summer of 2005 with <laughs> Tech Demo. And now they're saying, okay, finally, yes, we are indeed doing it. Um, I don't think they're going to let the fans down. I mean, if they did, this would be a huge blow. They for will get yeah. a massive blowback if this does not go well. Yeah. Like yeah. to the point that they'll have to shut their doors. <laughs> And at E3, the response was crazy. Was so I, I mean, it's one of the biggest surprises of, of last year. Hmm. I was jumping. Year. <laughs> okay, so uh, by the way, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. I'm Will. This is Nine. This is Joey. Yep. yep. Activision buys Candy Crush. <laughs> okay. Get through this. <laughs> I can't take this serious. No, no. $5.9 <laughs> billion. Dollars. It's a billion with the B, people. Yeah. That's a typo. You, meet, you meant million, right? No. Billion dollars. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> this, is like, this is like EA buying Bejeweled for like $2.9 billion. Like, why? <laughs> why would you do this? I mean, it's popular. It's... You, I, you get the mobile games. I mean, my, my wife plays it. It gets the female audience. It gets play, people I mean, that don't play the console it's games true. and it's the true. computer games. It's but what are they going after? I, yeah, I don't, what's I don't know. What's the end game there? And, yeah. It must be pretty serious for them to say, hey, here's five points. a small check. Billion dollars. <laughs> I think that Activision's like trying to cash in on that huge microtransaction market. Yeah. And that's where the Candy Crush hits home. Microtransactions. Yeah. Buy the power ups. Buy your next like save and whatever. I've never played the yeah. game. I don't even know. Get an extra move for ninety nine yeah, cents yeah, or whatever you know, it is. You know, just. <laughs> oh, man. And anybody who listens to our show knows that I hate. <laughs> oh, despise me. Hate microtransactions. Well, in my opinion, I, I think. Desire. In some cases, it might make sense. Like I, we, in Destiny, uh, mm -hmm. there's a a little shop you can go up, and if you want to spend money to buy like an extra dance move, that's really cool. Fine. <laughs> like, you know, you can. Oh, just put it in the game and let people but have it, it. It doesn't affect, like, the weapons of the game. Or it doesn't give you yeah. an unfair advantage. But games like it this have unfair advantages to their power-ups. A dance is not anything. But not, no, I'm talking no, about no, Candy no, Crush. No, but Candy Crush does. They have right. gained, like, their market is to 
increase your score through the power. Yeah. I'm simply saying a microtransaction for me, like the Destiny example, is one that I can I, deal I, with. I could possibly spend money on that. I wouldn't, but that's the only scenario I could see myself self actually spending money on. Yeah, smell. Yeah. But I, I yeah. don't. I don't see. Hey, I, I don't like the idea of the other example, which you were saying, and probably the reason why you hate it is where you get that unfair advantage for extra money you dump into the game. Cause it's so dumb. It's an incentive, though. I mean, people are doing it. They wouldn't buy it for 5.9 yeah. billion if people weren't doing it. They yeah, thought it'd be a I money guess. maker. I mean, well, it's a new is, business model. Isn't there? Isn't there like a? There's a movie or something. I think Candy Crush is getting a movie. A movie. <laughs> I, why, like, why wouldn't I, there be? I, why wouldn't there be? Now you gonna take your wife to go see that because she plays it. <laughs> <laughs> The of only course, thing I can be think fantastic. Of is this is just going to be like pixels, but with jelly beans. Every, you know, it's what could so, go wrong? Where's the problem there? It sounds awesome. Just, I don't know what the world has come to. Anyway, uh, No Man's Sky, a game that we are all super excited about, is going to release finally in June 2016. Yeah. Th this game, uh, I mean, uh, I, I just. It started off as like a, a, an indie game we talked about before the bass, and now it's picking up so much steam, and it's just it's a really really cool thing. I think a lot of people are going to get into this oh, yeah. game. My most anticipated game ever. Like I can, ever. That's a pretty I strong cannot words. wait for this game to come out because I will spend <laughs> countless amounts of time. Joe, you haven't heard the words Bloodborne so many times for one individual <laughs> or Dark Souls, but No Man's Sky ever, it, it, ever. If No Man's Sky and Dark Souls came out on the same day and oh. I had to pick one, I would buy No Man's Sky. Wow, that's how much I want this game. What is it about it? No Man's Sky, just yeah. the vast expanse of how big it is, okay, and the sheer randomness that is the game. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, when we get back, we're going to talk about FromSoft, Arkham Knight, Battleborn, all that kind of thing, right after this. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we just got done talking about uh, Final Fantasy, Activision, No Man's Sky, um, which Nine is obviously very I'm excited. very, very excited about that. <laughs> I'm pretty excited as well. I mean, it, it does, look, does look pretty good. Well, Nine's um, salivating. Yeah. yeah <laughs> literally like drooling anyway. off Come camera on. before this started. You can't get there soon enough. <laughs> uh, my name is Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is Joey. Hey. Uh, so, um, FromSoft is working on an exclusive rumor. I'm sorry, rumor. Yeah. Whispers now. Is working on an exclusive title for the PS4. Um, Nine, uh, I know this is a... Uh, From uh, soft expert, uh, extraordinary. Sure, yeah, <laughs> put that on your name tag. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, the, the Demon Souls uh, was exclusive to the PS3. Yep. Amazingly, fantastically awesome uh, it's game. One of my favorite games. Uh, just, just uh, very, very well done. I, and I'll say this again: this is one of the games, one of the only games I nearly gave up on. Yeah. Like I was saying, I don't know what to do. This isn't fun anymore. I, I'm it's about so ready to hard, quit. It's frustrating. At times. Like, and then as soon as I figured it out, I went through the whole rest of the game, loved it, and at the end there was an extra sense of accomplishment, right? So, <laughs> but it, powered through that. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. And, and it was a yeah. it's a very well. But uh, you know, hopefully, are they maybe creating? Is it going to follow the Soul series or what are we? I think I mean, it's Bloodborne was exclusive. The common theory is that it's Bloodborne too. Oh uh, well, okay. The I mean, next blood or the next franchise yeah. of what Bloodborne would be. Okay. Massively successful as well. Oh yeah, really great game. Um, it set the standard for the new, like FromSoft set their standard for combat to be from Bloodborne going forward. Because everybody loves the Bloodborne formula, like it just works. So they've implemented features into Dark Souls 3 that came from Bloodborne. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it's a combat system that works really, really well. Dark Souls 3 is exclusive to Xbox One for a period of time? Or? No. No, it's, it's on both it's consoles? All, it's, all, it's all consoles. PC, PS4, Xbox One. Okay. Um, I was predicting that it might be because of the Bloodborne coming out on PS4, but no, they're just... Bloodborne 2, huh? I think so. If Sign it's not up. Bloodborne 2, yeah. it's probably a Demon Souls successor. Oh, man. Wow. Which, Can't or, wrong or, Sign or, up or yeah. <laughs> fingers crossed, yeah. fingers crossed, it is Demon Souls for PS4, which I would pour money into that in a heartbeat. No, Demon's Souls 2. I, I'd, I'd like to I'd see. be happy with either one. I'm sure you would be. Because I, I would know. platinum Demon's Souls on PS4 again. I'd like to see the nuts. That's, a, that's tough. That's really tough. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, Bloodborne, though, I will say, the only thing I'll say about this game, then we'll move on, is is if you finish the entire game, it's a tough game, mm -hmm. very difficult, uh, it, there's multiple endings, right? So if you three take... Endings. There's three endings. So if you get the, the true ending, um, I... 
Hit me up. I don't know. We, we'll talk about it because I don't weird, know man. Like, <laughs> really what's going on or what happened. But if you follow the lore of the game, you kind of get an understanding of what's going on. You Something happens, you finish it, you'll watch it, you'll watch that final <laughs> cinematic, and you'll be like... WTF, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, all right. So, uh, again, you're watching listen to Press Start TV. I'm Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is Joey. Mm -hmm. So, Arkham Knight uh, released <laughs> on the consoles. Huge success. What an yeah, amazing game. game. Love that game. Um, you know, Mr. Gage, if you're watching, I know he's a huge, <laughs> huge fan of the Batman series. Just absolutely loves it. Uh, but when the PC game came out, there was a lot of bugs. Uh, oh, so much so yeah, that yeah. we actually had to send the copies back because they, they pulled it from Steam. They, they pulled it. So they, it GOG just, pulled it. I mean, just everybody stopped selling the PC. It, it was work. So they so you took some time and re-released it. They. They took some time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, it just recently came back out on PC through Steam and GOG and Green and all these other online resellers, and it's it, it's bad. Not as bad as it was, but it's still pretty awful. So what's what's tripping them up moving from the console I, to the PC? I, I what's don't the know. problem? A lot of developers say it's easier to code for PC than it is right. for consoles. Uh, I think Rocksteady just doesn't like PC. <laughs> like that's just my theory. <laughs> So, I, I, twice, two times this game is tanked on PC, so it's... Like PC every time you hit a happen. bug, like the Joker pops up, you like, ha, ha, ha. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, man. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I'm going to go with that, though. Uh, they just, just Maybe they don't want to... They, they don't pour the resources in there? Like well, that, I don't know. I mean, it's, maybe it's just not the, that developer's just, thing. Maybe yeah, they're they better at coding techno. for the, I don't know. Yeah, it's hard it's, to say. It's not good. We don't know, apparently, so there you go. <laughs> uh, Battleborn, it was delayed until May 3rd, uh, yeah, I don't 2016. Know how long of a delay that is. Yeah, yeah I don't know either. Yeah. Could be a week. Could what be do we know about Battleborn? Days. Free game, free to play, right? It's Gearbox's current MOBA. It's a massive online battle Be arena. Bethesda, though, right? No, this is Gearbox. Gearbox, okay. The people behind Borderlands and... Yeah, what, wasn't yeah. That, what was that game that we... Overwatch. Battle Cry. Battle Cry is yeah. Bethesda's game, which <laughs> yeah. is... We'll leave Battle Cry alone. Okay. <laughs> um, no, Battle Battleborn Born is the one with, like, the, the spider arm chick and the, the robot with the cane and the monocle. Um, it's, it's a lot like Overwatch in some ways, mm -hmm. but this is, like, comedy. This is no, sheer it, like comic relief. We 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 did we that. played Battlecry. Yeah, you no, and no. Gage played Battleborn yeah. this summer. I did not get a chance to play it, and it sucks because I've been in the beta, and every time the beta is available to play, I'm busy. So yeah, I had a so chance I, to actually get it. Maybe I was getting Overwatch and Battleborn mixed up. Then. Probably. Yeah, yeah. So if you go back and watch the last episode, then maybe <laughs> I got that all messed up. But Battleborn, the characters uh, are very creative, and that's what kind very of very colorful makes, too. I was yeah. Oscar Mike. I think that's the big guy with the, the, the gun, machine gun, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, very diverse character lineup. So if you get like characters with all kinds of different abilities and they're just so unique, mm -hmm. throw them in there into a game where how are they going to compete when this character can do this and this character can? That's that's what you got. Sure. It's going to be a very team-based strategy built action game. Yeah, so you, I mean, you, you'll approach situations or a set of enemies or whatever it is, and there's lots of strategy involved. And in some cases, you do have to rely on those characters' abilities to be able to move right. forward. Uh, so pretty ingenious game. Um, I, I think, think it looks fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I can't wait. So 2K then. Is, 2K and yeah. Gearbox, yeah. 2K yeah. is the publisher, Gearbox is mm -hmm. the developer. Okay, cool. So um, when we get back, we're going to be talking about our predictions for Game of the Year. Uh, can't wait to get into that. So we'll be right back right after this. Hey, welcome back. We just sat down talking about FromSoft, Arkham Knight, and Battleborn. What a great conversation that was. Uh, <laughs> again, my name is Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is Joey. Hey. We're going to talk about our Game of the Year predictions. Again, we're getting close to the end of 2015. Right around the corner. Um, oh my God, some so some of the, uh, <laughs> almost all uh, the, the biggest titles, I think, are, are officially out. Maybe a couple other ones still need to come out. But let's talk about uh, what we predict the actual Game of the Year is going to be. And from, from the overall industry, and then what our picks for Game of the Year are. Uh, so let's uh, let's kind of go into that. So yep. let's talk about some games that are on the table. I mean, I'll throw out some: Metal Gear, Yep, mm -hmm. Fallout, Yep, Easy. Call of Duty, Yep, 
Battlefront. Ooh. Yeah. Battlefront. Battlefront yeah. over Call of Duty. Um, Still not on board with Battlefront. <laughs> You're he's in the minority. Not, he's not a fan. You're in the minority. Uh, <laughs> Halo. You know. Yep. Hey. Yeah, you got to put that I on. I think those are the big players. Yeah. Those, are the, those, those are some of the biggest titles. Yeah. And then earlier in the year, there were some the good Witcher. titles. The Witcher. Mm -hmm. Witcher is definitely on that list. Um, Bloodborne would be on my list. Sure. No, it's, <laughs> I definitely think it's you put it on there. It's a fantastic game. Um, Tomb Raider might be on that list. Yeah. I haven't heard anything about it yet. So I'm yeah. still upset that it's not on PS4 yet. So. Uh, so, so a lot of games to choose from. Um, so let's start with uh, some, some industry predictions. How do you guys think, uh, who, who are you leaning towards that overall the industry is going to embrace and say, this was the best game of 2015? Now we'll start with yeah. you. According to one company, it's Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, so, so <laughs> Konami, we talked about this before. And by the uh, way, so Rock Band, if you ask the guys at Harmonix, is, is their favorite game, and yeah. it should be Game of the Year. <laughs> yeah, that's true, too. So, so a lot of people are touting their own game, which sure, is kind of course. interesting. But Konami said, yeah, our game's Game of the Year. Before it was even before out. Before it was out. <laughs> Before it was even out, like how pretentious do you have to be? Definitely. To say or is it confidence? I mean, it, no, it's not confidence. <laughs> with all the nonsense going on with Konami right now, it's yeah. not confidence. Well, and I'll say this, I mean, it, I, I don't know. I mean, the game is worthy. A lot of people are, are going to say, a, yeah. Don't get me wrong, it's a right. fantastic yeah. game. It yeah. is definitely worthy of being on that list for for sure. Game of the year. Awesome. So, what do you think? I mean, so the industry will say, okay, this this is this sold the most copies, or we think that this, or overall the best experience was. I would honestly say Fallout is probably going to be the industry winner this year, yeah. like easily. Now, why would you say easily? That? Because it's Fallout. Yeah. <laughs> like it, it's been expected for years, and it's just kind of just not happened, and it's succeeding to Fallout 3, which was Game of the Year, the yeah. year it came out. We're talking about Game of the Year predictions. Again, my name's Will, this is Nye, this yep. is Joey. Yep. Uh, so, Joey, in your opinion, the industry? Yeah, I mean, I think Fallout's the, the heads-on favorite. Yeah. I think certainly, but I think Battlefront's gonna give it a run for its money. Yeah. I mean, I think with all the you know all the all the hoopla that's coming out around this. Yeah, I, you know, with the new movie being released sure. and everything, it's sure. and not you know talking to students on campus. This is the game that they all want more than Fallout. Yeah, this is this is kind of this is the one they're looking for. In terms of hype, Battlefront is definitely way up there. Yeah. So. So that's a tough. In my just, my opinion, I think you know I, I actually believe that Call of Duty is fantastic this time around. A lot of, um, think a lot of changes to the Duty. game. I, I, it's just not the same old recipe. They've added some things. I mm -hmm. think for the better. Uh, I think Halo uh, is is definitely in the conversation only because the multiplayer, the campaign is, you know, call it Confusing. 60%. It's okay. Right. It's not the best thing. The multiplayer, they really got it right. They, ton they of fun. nailed multiplayer. Oh, it's, 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 it's a fantastic experience. But I'll also give the uh, industry prediction to Fallout. I think that, that it'll get the edge there. Yeah. Uh, so now let's talk about our, our own choices um, and what we think the game of the year should be in our opinion. So, Nine, once again, I'll throw it over to you. If you've got to pick one game for 2015 out of all the games that came out. Out of all the games that came out. I, mm, to, for me, <laughs> it would be a toss-up okay. between Metal Gear and Fallout. Because they're both fantastic games, and you can do a lot of really cool stuff in both games. Sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, Fallout is huge, and it's dense, and you've got all this customization and stuff you can do and Metal Gear you can just go crazy and do all kinds of fun stuff in that game very smooth I mean just they and they're both gorgeous like you just you can't yeah. argue that fact their art gameplay yeah, story fantastic everything all that story is probably a little bit more solid than Metal Gear Solid story because nobody knows what's going on with Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> years of confusion going on Okay, well, if you had to pick one, narrow it down and just I give us a slight, slight edge. edge to Fallout. Okay. Just because yeah. I have a, a bigger history in running with Fallout than I do with Metal Gear. So, Nine, that's your prediction. Fallout 4 should be game of the year. Yeah. Joey, let's throw it over to you. What do you think? Well, way to play it safe. That's good. <laughs> yeah. um, no, I, I think Fallout 4 will win, but to me, you know, I, I think Call of Duty is kind of the way to go. I'm, I'm more of an FPS guy, and I think Call of Duty is getting it right. 
with looking at what esports can do and what this game can be right. to esports, because I uh, hope how fast it's growing, the popularity, yeah. the boom that's going, and you know and that's going to be the game moving forward that I think a lot of tournaments and competitions are going to be focused on. Yeah, um, this version of Black Ops even has like a league section. In exactly, it. like it's got dedicated exactly. league management inside the game. So why yeah. not? If, if you go back and, and look at our, our interviews um, from E3, we actually interviewed the multiplayer director on Call of Duty, mm -hmm. and that, he said that was one of the things they were focusing on is the expansion of esports. They wanted to make sure they produced a game that supported that, right. and, and they could take to tournaments and leagues and different things like right. that. So yeah. uh, kudos to them for pulling that off. And yeah, so so that's that's your choice yeah, for game of the year. That's huh? for me. You know, I, I think it is because I'm in the esports kind of area. Yeah, nice. Okay, for me, um, again, uh, I, I, I gotta get a <laughs> gotta toss take up. One. 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 You gotta take one. one. Battlefront Fallout. I think Call of Duty. Um, between those games, you know, I would, I would say... DeWitt. I would give the slight edge to Fallout. I knew it. So <laughs> there's, there's, there's my choice. Okay, guys, thank you again so much for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, you can check us out on PressStartTV.com where you can find all of our uh, information, the Checkpoint content, uh, podcast, our streams, uh, our shows, everything. So give that a shot. Uh, as always, again, thank you again. Till next time, we'll see you. Later. Thanks.